What's up everyone, in this video I'm going to show you does changing your motherboard also affects your windows in installation? If you wanna know everything about it, keep watching this video. To begin I want to tell you that everything I say in this video are only applicable to windows 10 and 11. Changing or replacing your motherboard will not affect your operating system or your windows in installation. The only issue you'll run into is your windows not being activated after booting it up. However, changing your SSD or a storage medium will lead to a change in your system in installation. Talking about that, your windows in installation is located on your storage medium, meaning your SSD, NVMe, or your hard drive. So if you were to change it, your installation will also change depending on what's present on the medium. So no matter how much hardware swapping you do, you will need to reactivate windows as a worst case scenario and nothing else. But you also have to know in some cases you might end up corrupting your windows in installation when changing your motherboard because your license key is directly bound to your hardware ID present on your motherboard. So when replacing it, your operating system has a chance of malfunctioning. Generally, this rarely happens. This is because Windows 10 and 11 create automatic restore points. Therefore, when you do change your motherboard, while it is unlikely, we still recommend backing up important files in your default Windows in installation partition just in case. You don't need to worry about your other partition drives as only your Windows partition can be corrupted in worst case scenario. Another question you might have is, do I need to reinstall my drivers after replacing my motherboard? Yes, because most drivers like your audio, chipset, and processors are directly correlated. So you will need to open your motherboard support page and download all the relevant drivers. Windows typically tends to download drivers on their own given that you have working internet connection. However, there are particular cases when your OS might not be able to pick up your drivers automatically. So always make sure to check the drivers and install them manually if Windows didn't detect it automatically. But also keep in mind that Windows will always reinstall the following drivers whenever you change your motherboard, chipset, CPU, Ethernet, Bluetooth, PCIe, and your sound card. So for the final take, you will never need to download Windows if you replace your motherboard. However, you will need to always reactivate your Windows when you change your motherboard. On PCs with a retail version, you can just use the troubleshooter to get your Windows back up. Without access to the troubleshooter, you will need to find your key or sign into a Microsoft account linked to a genuine Windows in installation. While it is a tedious process, in the end some sacrifices do need to be made when you're getting your new system up and running. If you need help reactivating your Windows and you want to see all of these steps, please go ahead and check out my channel as I have a video in there explaining everything you have to do step by step. Other than this, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.